Global UK, Transforming People's Lives. Hear from Phil and Bridget Knott, whose kids are successful goalball players. To see your son put on a Great Britain tracksuit, it's just wow. And it means so much. We were so proud, and for them it was life-changing too. If you have a visually impaired child and you look at what is available for them in terms of team sports, there are other sports that have been adapted for the disability. This was the disability design the sport. It's enabled visually impaired people to actually do a sport that was built and designed for them. There's no other sport like that. He does so many different things and everything he does, he does brilliantly kind of has changed our lives. I don't quite know whether that was by accident or something intentional. This is Dad on the microphone. Adam and the GB squad just warming up. They're also changing other people's lives. Um, Giving confidence to other people. Yeah. We have two new players who have only lost their sight in the last three, four years. For them, that's quite daunting, obviously, to suddenly be immersed into a blind world. And Goldball is giving them confidence. You know, we take them away for tournaments and uh, their parents are thrilled that their kids who had found independence and then lost it are suddenly getting that independence back again and meeting other people with a sight impairment who they might not have been able to come across before throughout without goalball. When you've got two sons that want to be involved in a sport it becomes more than the weekend, it becomes more than the game, it becomes just part and parcel of their lifestyle really. I think it's enabled all of us to work together in a sport based around our children's ability and disability and it's enabled us to meet new people, new friends. It's just been a great opportunity to, dare I say, open our eyes a bit to the world of disability oh, sport. Absolutely. Trevor Sharkey has a son and a daughter who play goalball. At an international level they were both in London 2012. As partially sighted people, they couldn't, when they were young, socialise in the same way in their mainstream schools as most of the kids could after school in the evenings. One sunny day, they went to a Bucks Association for the Blind Have a Go Day, and they looked at this goalball thing, and they were immediately hooked. Because they couldn't really show their sporting aptitude before, and now they could, it meant that they got fitter, they got more interested in going to the gym, they are both very fit people. Goalball gives goalball players immense confidence. Blind and partially sighted people are not necessarily particularly confident people. Sometimes they can be isolated. The goalball community has provided a gap there. And it's been a great journey for them and it's been a great journey for me. Mother and daughter, Jackie and Georgie Bullen. It was quite a difficult time for me being at mainstream school and starting to really understand the implications of not being fully sighted. And goalball really helped me with that and, and it really helped me being around lots of VI people, visually impaired people. They help me be very open about being visually impaired. As the mother of a child who has lost her sight, I feared for her future. I didn't know any other parent with a visually impaired child and there were all sorts of questions. Suddenly when I, as a mother, discovered Goalball, I was meeting other young men and women who have lost their sight and were telling me their stories and giving me advice. So for us, it was also a really useful support network. It's just so warm at a global tournament. Everyone is just so friendly. And so it's not just the sport aspect. It is a genuinely warm, friendly, lovely atmosphere. Global has done so much for my life. I mean, it's made me more confident, more determined, more focused, but it really helped me deal with my disability, understand it, and I think that the community is as addictive as the sport itself. It's just completely transformed my life because I don't know where I'd be without it. I've had the benefit of standing on the sidelines and seeing her completely blossom. You know, I've seen her achieve potential in so many ways. So that in itself is, is a huge thing. I'd always encourage people to try goalball. It's described as sport's best kept secret for a reason. It's so addictive. It's unlike anything else, it's just incredibly fun. Now hear from Aaron Ford and Laura Perry from the Royal National College for the Blind. I was fully sighted until I was 17, so I played rugby, I used to swim quite competitively. After I was poorly I didn't really know what sports were available for people with visual impairment. It's nice being a spectator, but 
to be able to play a sport where everybody is in the same boat makes it so much more enjoyable. I've changed pretty much everything in my life so that I can be the best I can be for goalball. I enjoy taking part, but if you don't have the desire to win, then what's the point in playing for me? I enjoy the competitiveness. I began working at the Royal National College for the Blind and goalball was one of the recreational sports that uh, our students were interested in. The transformation that I've seen in students from one week attending a goalball session, students that turn up have never been interested in sport, they don't like the gym, would completely detest physical activity. What can we do to try and gain friends? What can we do to build confidence, you know, to try and demonstrate good communication skills? Something like goalball allows you to do that. Niall Graham is a goalball player and London 2012 Paralympian. Basketball was a huge part of my life growing up. Everyone knew me as a basketball player and as a sportsman. My basketball coach knew I was losing my eyesight and he thought he's not going to fade out of basketball, he's not going to fade out of sport. So he went behind my back and sent my details to Paralympics GB and goalball picked me up. No idea what the sport was. I had absolutely no idea. I YouTubed it, I Googled it, I went to the training camp and loved it. And uh, four years later, I'm here. The goal ball was like, um, we're a family. If someone's hurt, we're all hurt. So we all have each other's backs. For anyone who gets involved in goal ball, we're so welcoming. Be it the officials, be it players, be it just someone coming along to watch. New players, we take them under our wings. Older players, we feed off their experiences. Because in goal, we have to talk to each other. It's transformed my life to be who I am, to be a role model for young kids that are suffering with visual impairments now. It's taught me to be humble as well and to be happy for what I've got. What I've learned is I can be a leader and I really love that role. I love the day when someone asks me what I do and I say I play goalball. And they go, oh, really? I don't have to explain it. To get involved or find out more about Goalball, you can contact Goalball UK by calling 01142 235 670 or go to the website goalballuk.com.